Amadou Onana has today left Everton and joined Aston Villa on a five-year contract for an undisclosed fee. The 22-year-old Belgium underwent his medical over the weekend and has left Everton after two seasons at Goodison Park. Had an excellent Euros, Amma. Um I, I thought he was a really good player. I'll miss him at Everton in terms of being in our midfield and doing that number six role. But the manager clearly isn't a fan. We saw that towards the end of the season and he thinks that James Garner and Adrissa Garner Gay are a better two in there. Now, what Everton can do is use the money and reinvest it back into the squad. And, you know, when you look at the PSR number for the Onana deal, I think it comes out around 30 million uh, positive for us. So we can reinvest that money into the squad and uh, strengthen it. So good luck to Amadou at Aston Villa. Uh, according to reports today from Italy, Jesper Lindstrom has already said goodbye to his Napoli teammates ahead of an expected move to Goodison Park. The Dane is currently in talks over personal terms and the club are said to be expecting that to go through within the next few days. It looks like it's, well, according to the reports out of Italy, it looks like it's a loan with a, uh, a view to a permanent deal next summer. So... He's someone, again, that that name's bounced around for a couple of weeks. Didn't have a great time at Napoli last season, but I think he only played around 400 odd minutes, uh, which isn't a lot. I think he made two starts, so difficult to really look into what went on there, but he was good in Germany and Denmark before that, so he's quite versatile, can play right wing, left wing, and has played mainly through the middle as an attacking midfielder, but we'll see what happens. Uh, That one may well happen this week. Uh, just on top of that as well is also reports coming out of Yorkshire that Everton and Leeds United are quite close in their evaluation for winger Wilfred Nonto. This has been going on forever. This one, hasn't it? Literally since last summer. Uh, this has been going on for, but reports that they saying both clubs are very close now and a deal could well be done for the Italian winger this week. Fabrizio Romano has reported today that Everton are preparing a new contract for Jared Branthwaite after rejecting two proposals from Manchester United. Everton determined to keep the young defender unless a huge bid arrives. Manchester United reportedly have no intention of paying the £75 million that Everton wants for the defender. So it uh, looks as though Everton may well be offering Branthwaite a new deal at the football club. And this story, I just want to dismiss personally. I'm not saying I can dismiss it, but Everton and Leicester are apparently interested in Arthur Mello. Uh, I really don't understand this one because Everton had the opportunity to take him before he joined Liverpool and Everton turned it down. Uh, He went to Liverpool, was done nothing at Liverpool. Then obviously last season played 33 games, scored two goals and three assists. He's still only 27 but I just, this is one, I just don't see any legs in this one. I think Everton have also been linked with like Richard Rios, uh, Colombian midfielder. I get that one. We've also been uh, linked to um, other midfielders as well. I'm on Rich- Amir Richardson is one of them. Uh, I get that one. This one I really don't get. I'm not saying that it, it isn't, you know, it might happen, it might not happen, whatever. It's just a link that I don't really understand, but it's come out again today, and I've seen it over the weekend as well, so we'll see whether there is anything in that one. But apparently, uh, Como, very interested in him. Cesc Fabregas is the Como manager, isn't he? So he's very interested in taking him there. That is it for the news daily. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. See you later.